Okay, today we're going to talk about setting up an SSH tunnel so we can proxy our traffic through our VPS or non-attributable workstation so that no one can see where we're coming from. So uh, what we'll do first is we'll create a file in our uh, Linux virtual machine that's on our desktop, .sh. We use vim and just create it. Okay, we'll insert the command that we're going to use for SSH to establish the tunnel. And it's pretty simple. And all we're going to do is we're going to replace the user with your username at your VPS and uh, IP for your IP at the VPS. Okay. Now we need to make that executable. And we just do a change mod plus X on the file. And now if we ls it, you can see it's executable. All right, so that's the first part. The second part is we need to log into the actual non-attributable workstation and make sure that SSH forwarding is enabled. All right, we'll need to be root to do this. We go into the slash etsy slash SSH directory and the file we want to look at is sshd underscore config so we'll open that up in an editor and what we need to do is find uh, allow tcp forwarding so we hit the slash key which lets us search And as you can see, we've gotten it right here. Allow TCP forwarding is yes. And you'll notice it's commented out in the config file. That's because that's a default in most modern Linux distributions. So if it says no here and it's commented and not commented out, then you probably want to change that to yes. And then just uh, get out of it and save it. And then if you need to, you can restart SSHD just by doing a system control restart. SSHD and that restarted it okay so we're, we don't need to be in the server anymore so we can jump back over to our virtual machine so if we were to start a browser right now we would see traffic rolling through um, our local interface here so let's go ahead and start traffic um, analysis with TCP dump we'll be looking at all the packets here and let's start the browser. And you should see this go crazy as it starts loading stuff up. And you can see the different um, calls out over HTTP. So that tells us that it's going out to local interface. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to change this. We're going to go to Preferences. Scroll all the way to the bottom. To get the network proxy, and we're going to click on settings, and then we're going to put manual proxy. Go to Sox host, put in localhost 127.0.0.1 and a port of 8080, and make sure you have Sox 5 checked. And then scroll all the way down to you get to this uh, proxy DNS when using Sox 5, and check that. This way, it'll send our DNS over the proxy as well and hit OK. Now then, let's go ahead and close the browser. And we can see our traffic stopped. Now let's go up here and let's start the tunnel. And all you'll do is dot slash and tunnel. I'm just going to ask you for your password. And you've established the tunnel. So if you do a ps-ef, pipe it to grep, and look for SSH. You can see right here that we have a tunnel set up over port 8080 to 
or remote location. So now if we open up the browser, and we're still looking at port 80 traffic down here, and let's go ahead and open up Amazon. And you can see it opened it up just fine, and we have no traffic down here. Now then, um, if you even go through and look at this with um, port 80, 80, which is the local host that we uh, established here, you would probably see the stuff going to it if you changed your interface to the local loopback. But it's not going to be going out the forwarding port here, or the uh, Ethernet ports. So as we refresh this page, you'll see nothing going out. So, all this traffic is being tunneled over SSH, which if we look at that, you'll see just a ton of traffic. And if we refresh the page, you should see a lot more, which you do, as the page loads. So that's all there is to it. By doing this, we can hide our original IP address at our home location. So if we're researching uh, the bad guys, they can't find us. That's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and uh, click like. If you didn't, click dislike. Either one uh, helps me a lot, just uh, so I can figure out what I can do better. Um, if you want more of this uh, content, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks.